Are you curious about the dangers lurking beneath the waves when it comes to dropping the anchor of an aircraft carrier? Have you ever wondered why this seemingly routine procedure can turn into a life-threatening situation? Get ready to discover the treacherous depths to uncover the reasons behind the perilous nature of dropping an anchor on an aircraft carrier. What hidden dangers could be lurking beneath the surface? Naval aircraft carriers are exposed to numerous challenging conditions during their deployments, often encountering rough winds and waves. The sailors on board the ships follow specific procedures, especially during emergencies. One particular perilous procedure is dropping the carrier's anchor, which is deemed life-threatening due to various factors. Dropping the anchor on an aircraft carrier is a laborious task that can result in severe injuries for the crew members involved. It is a slow process that requires strict adherence to safety precautions. Sailors assigned to anchor duty-free frequent training to ensure they are well-versed in the proper steps for raising and dropping the anchor without causing harm. An aircraft carrier weighs an average of 80,000 to 100,000 tons. Occasionally, sailors face adverse weather conditions such as choppy seas and huge storms, making it crucial to stabilize the carrier. This is achieved through the use of a massive anchor and chain system. While anchoring in high seas is generally avoided, it becomes necessary at times as a precautionary measure to prevent accidents. Watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The selection of an anchor for an aircraft carrier is a critical decision. Various types of anchors are available, including the Mantis Anchor, Danforth, Manson Boss, Spade, and Bruce. The choice depends on factors such as the anchor's ability to set firmly, its robustness, and its ability to hold in different types of soil, ranging from loose to hard. The weight of the anchor for an aircraft carrier is determined based on an equipment number, which considers the ship's displacement, maximum breadth and height, and projected lateral surface area. When embarking on a journey into choppy seas, an aircraft carrier would require a relatively heavier anchor compared to a ship traveling with slow currents. The depth of anchorage depends largely on the length of the anchor chain. To ensure proper anchoring, an aircraft carrier must use a scope, which is the ratio of anchor depth to the length of the anchor chain of at least 7 to 1. A steeper scope could result in the anchor slipping. Therefore, an aircraft carrier equipped with 560 feet of anchor road and chain should drop its anchor to a sea depth no greater than 80 feet. Most ships limit their anchorages to 200 feet into the sea. The anchor and chain assembly is among the heaviest, most space-consuming, and challenging to use equipment on board a ship. Its handling requires utmost care and expertise. Sailors operating the anchor system must be well-trained and aware of the potential risks and safety measures. The anchor chain on naval aircraft carriers is composed of shackles or shots, as referred to by sailors, which are connected by removable links of the same shape and measurements. For instance, the USS Nimitz carries two 30-ton anchors connected to two shots of chain totaling approximately 1,080 feet in length. Each steel link aboard this aircraft carrier weighs 360 pounds. On the USS Ford, the anchor weighs 30,000 pounds and the anchor chain is 1440 feet long with each link weighing 136 pounds. The legendary USS Enterprise from World War II has a 25,000 pound anchor. Dropping the anchor on an aircraft carrier only occurs during steering failure, navigation in shallow seas, potential collisions, or other emergencies. The purpose of this emergency procedure is to allow the anchor to drag along the sea, creating substantial resistance to the ship's movement without causing damage to the anchor or the vessel. Anchoring the carrier significantly reduces its speed and helps prevent accidents. When the order is given to drop the anchor, the sailors on anchor detail must take specific precautions. The naval officer responsible must have a mobile VHF for communication, a light source, and the necessary tools to remove the bow stoppers. The cable must be monitored at all times to track the number of shots released according to instructions received from the bridge. The officer at the foxhole must maintain constant communication with the bridge, exchanging information with the master. This includes instructions on where to drop the anchor, which anchor to use, if applicable, and how many shackles should be released before releasing the anchor. The sides of the aircraft carrier must be checked for boats, tugs, or any other objects that may obstruct the path of the anchor. 
The officer opens the compartment and allows the anchor to flow straight from the hose pipe. Dropping the anchor on an aircraft carrier involves more technicalities and potential risks compared to most ship procedures. The anchor and its chain are heavy equipment that can be hazardous to the operators, which is why the procedure itself is generally avoided unless necessary. In short, dropping the anchor on a naval aircraft carrier is considered a life-threatening action due to its labor-intensive nature and the potential for severe injuries to the crew members involved. The stability of the carrier in harsh conditions and the selection of the appropriate anchor and chain system are crucial factors in ensuring the safety and security of the ship during its deployments. That's all for this video. We hope this video has shed light on the risks faced by sailors and the precautions they take to ensure their safety in challenging situations. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon for more interesting videos like this. Thank you for watching our video.